Hello and welcome back to Snowrunner and our hard mode adventure. You join me pretty much where we left off. I say pretty much because once again I've had to wait through time. I've come in and it was midnight so I've been sitting here waiting in hard mode unable to skip time forwards. So we're ready to go. It's about 20 past a past day. I think that's where we left off last time. And last time we were making our way to go back through to Black River. And I was just having a little look at the map and the, and the jobs and stuff. But over here under Husky Ford and Materials Order, I think we can do some of this before we go. We need to deliver concrete slabs and consumables up to the service hub and the preacher's hub. And then it wants metal down at the quarry. Now we can either bring metal back through or eventually we can, there's metal over here in a trailer. So the, there's there's those options there, and then after uh, we do that, since we're going to be up over here, we could get service spare parts and bring back down to the quarry, and then concrete slab and bring in. So I'm, I think I might do that. I think that's what we we're gonna do. To me, that just sort of makes sense at the minute. Trying to get some stuff done rather than. Uh, just keep pulling vehicles and trailers about and, and moving things that way. So we will have to try and take this trailer with us. How's this going to be? Oh, it'll be easier if I just move that, if I move my service trailer out of the way. Because that was what I was taking that sort of up to the garage. So we'll just uh, no, I'm fanning about too much. I'm fanning about already. We'll just turn around to the, uh, <laughs> the trailer store. Come on. I'm getting myself all, all anxious and worked up already. I feel like we should have progressed a bit more than we have, so. It's time to get working on some of these jobs. And I must remember to. Uh, load them in manually this time. We had a little bit of a moment of uh, auto-loading, I think, last time out, or at least quite recently. I'm going to try and get a few episodes again uh, recorded and uploaded on the today and tomorrow because Expeditions is fastly approaching for my time of recording. It will be well out by the time uh, you guys get to this episode, but for me it is on its way. So I think, just want to check which concrete slabs here. We want two of those, so we shall detach our trailer. I think we're a little bit too far away. Let's see if we can't maybe bring that in a little bit. That'll do nicely. Now I know that's going to be in the way for my bloody anchors, but that's, that's been a uh, been a thing for a while now. <laughs> It'll still hold. Will hold. And bring a crane out so that's ready. So let's remember to put it on the loading platform. Once I've got this sorted and done, I can leave that trailer somewhere out of the way then. I'll try and get this in a little bit nicer than I normally do. That should be alright. 
Another one. I've had a little little issue lately with my uh, with my scruffy load and it's not always registered, so we'll uh, see how that does. There we are. We'll Still the crane as well. Yeah, I just think my logistics have been really, really poor. And that's not helped me that much at the minute. A lesson to be learned for anyone watching. Maybe plan it a little bit better than what I've done. We'll get this up to the service uh, hub and then uh, we'll grab some consumables. Take them to the breacher. We'll just do the consumables in just just for the safety of and ease of my uh, anti. When we go down to the quarry, I will do that in two runs. Because I. I I hate going down to the quarry. You know, I can do it with multiple trailers, I can do it with long trailers. If you've, uh, if you've watched any of the any of the Twitch stream series, you've seen that that's, that's how we do it. But we do it with high risk, not worrying. In, uh, Hard, but I do it with a lot of worrying. Cruise on up there a bit. We're about halfway through our fuel here as well, so we'll get a little top up as we go past our garage. I think the tank up there is about 60% full. really should have stuck with, and I think I covered this last episode of the episode before, I should have really stuck with my more, uh, my more really traditional way of doing these maps, and just sort of concentrated on one and then the other and then the other a bit more, instead of as I've been doing, I've, uh, I've sort of tried to do it my way by incorporating things I've seen others do, and it just doesn't work that way, so I've just wasted a lot of time.
nice it. There we go. Is that back one? Did we not pack it? There we go. That's what I say. It's there. Right. So I think. I think I'm going to leave this trailer. Probably daft of me at the minute. Trailer somewhere. Whoa, 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 whoa. Risky, risky, risky. Up here. It's gonna leave out there. When we have loads and stuff to do, you know, we'll be picking them up from service points or somewhere else. What we, we need is there. That's, that's my justification for doing that. Right, so then we are refueling. Then we'll head to the farm and we'll go and get some consumables. And they can go to the preacher. don't think we can get metal beams until we fix up the, uh, I'll show you, fix up here, although there's, there's metal beams on there, I'm not sure what they're for, probably for this, no they go there for solid foundations, that's fine, yeah, so quite possibly the metal beams that are over, over by the antenna in the middle of the map, they might be, uh, you know, like I said, sort of reserved for here. in there. That wasn't good. I've been using a lot of uh, diff lockaways on trucks and all-wheel drive always on trucks lately on my other, other saves. So. Out, out of sync with uh, work with the fleet start. And as I've said before, I think that's one of the reasons why I like the fleet star is that you do have to work it, you do have to manage it. It, it does sort of teach you that, that skill set from within the game. Ooh, nearly went for auto. Nearly, nearly did it. Please.
That's a mess. That'll be alright. There we are. Still way along just to get out of there. So hopefully this means we do the deliveries during the daylight, and then I do my map traversing and just getting around uh, with, the, <laughs> with the night, sort of more, more preparation than anything. Have we? I've probably asked this many times, but I forget stuff. Have we traded this? Is this? I think this is food for the workers, isn't it? Hungry workers. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that should be a hard one to get to with the fleet star. We could even do that. And I know I haven't finished Black River, and I was just saying we need to finish a map. Got to get back to my old ways of doing things methodically. Methodically rather than... Practically or logistically. But if we're hearing their things, I think we can get done. We might do that. Some jobs that should be relatively safe for us, low risk. I think I've probably covered it in a previous episode with that. The reason I wanted to get to Black River and get one or two of those jobs done there is because I know that they're going to hold up the brush in elsewhere. But we have got things we can do. We've got options. service hub again we can get the service repair parts I'm sure that's what I wanted. Let's just double check on that. Work road sweat service spare parts, yeah so we'll grab that. Okay. 
if it didn't mean another another episode of just crawling through the boggy swamp. But I I consider going and getting that metal beam out to the quarry as well. I might do it. I might do it. Just get these two jobs done. Because then that opens up jobs going in and out of the quarry. Some deliveries there. I remember right, even that challenged uh, time of delivery there, that's not a, not a difficult one, I don't think, if I remember rightly. Sideways, but that actually goes in that way anyway. with a crane. I really am. That'll do. <laughs> Pack it away. Right, down at the quarry. Down to the hellhole. Now we should be fine. Should be fine. I've done it so many times. It's just that I know since there's greater risk, I know something will go wrong. It's just how it works. As Rusty said, you've heard of luck of the Irish? What well, round here we call the luck of Farquhar. If it can go wrong, it will go wrong. starts to get too dark and uh, even better. ideally thinking about it but what you really want for doing runs like the uh, down to the quarry and stuff like that is a truck that you're loading into that possibly isn't raised and doesn't have the crane fit just got some good tyres, decent gearbox an engine to get you up and down but something that's just a lot more stable obviously the crane and that race suspension and just sort of increases your de stability. But I'm just one of those guys that just, oh, I get my truck and I chuck everything on it, spam, 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 all the upgrades. <laughs> Maybe that needs to change as well. The 
because I do know there are a few trucks coming up for us in, in future maps that are just better off left, you know, without putting the raised suspension on, without doing other certain things to them. The next one. Look, like it's not very bright. We need to try and find some more lights for this. I'm sure, there are more lights we can fit on it. Although we've took it in the garage many times to shift where I would fit it, but maybe next time I will have a look. Like I say, just because this is hard mode, something will go wrong. This is the sort of delivery, you know, we should be out doing the sleep. It really is. But I'll, get, I'll, I'll catch an angle just a little bit off. Oh, something, something will happen. And it'll go bad. I can feel it in the walls. Like I say, I would normally do it with the trailer behind, or even with the uh, semi-trailer on, but I'd rather not risk rolling my truck and use a little extra fuel. Slow and steady is the way. I mean, I've been down here and like, tried to fire big old trailers up over them rocks and down things, and, and you know, other than a bit of brute force needed, never really had any issues. I ain't trying that today. No way. Do that either. There we go, this one lines. These lights get it back on. Slap. Oh, that's not good. The job we've got a, a repair surface trailer just ahead. There is a little repair hub as well, just around the back of the uh, trailer store somewhere. Sounds 
Again, a manoeuvre that I've done a million times, but has every chance of going wrong this time. <laughs> this is exactly what I'm talking about. Sometimes you can just feel when, <laughs> when the game seems to have got it in for you. Like, oh, today you want to have a little go, do you, sir? Radio. Roll for you here, roll for you there. <laughs> we had it on stream a while back, on one of the Alaska ones. Just not doing really anything. And it's the, uh, the AMK and K38. Just roll for no reason. No reason at all. But because it could. slab Over there is where you can repair yourself if you need to. I think it's a, a paid repair, that one. I should be able to restock my uh, land of repair parts there as well, if I haven't already.
this is why we wanted better lights. So now it's much harder to see where the little divots and rivets are in the dirt that are going to cause us to roll. Also wishing I didn't neck a pint of coffee before I start recording. say not the most time efficient, not the most fuel efficient, but just a safer way of minute. And there's more than enough fuel on that. More than enough. And we can always buy it from there now. Sweat complete, that's three and a half grand, 380 XP for us. Brings us up to 20k in the pocket, which isn't a lot, not for where we are. I think, since it is night, I might as well just go and try and get that, that trailer with the metal beams on. There's a fuel trailer the other side of the... Oh, I hate when the camera start doing that, I do apologise. It's on its own accord. It makes me feel nauseous. So. I hate to think what it's doing to you guys as well. Oh. There's also a repair trailer <laughs> the other side of the swamp as well. Now, there is. This new nest, is that the one that, does that go, oh no that goes, oh sorry that's not the one I want, that's not the one I want, that's alright. That does go in the direction I was thinking. I think that if we, if we use the nightfall to get across the swamp, grab the metal beam, and come back again, and there's every chance that by the time I get back, it's uh, starting to get to morning, a bit of daylight to uh, find a way back around the quarry.
think I want to go straight on over if I'm doing it. Yeah. Sorry. Like I say, if you'd like to see us do this a little bit more <laughs> flippantly and career about and riskier, check out the Twitch stream series. Uh, that series does get uploaded here. It is well, probably about a month behind actually from the Twitch streams just because there's so much of it. So if you want to see us do it live, come over to Twitch. I should imagine at the minute, by the time this one releases, we are we are deep into uh, expeditions as well. That will be on both brands as well, purple and red. I know we quite, we quite literally just came across here. Like that was towing the trailer that I thought I was going to use and with the intention of going to get bricks. Hadn't really thought about the convenience of just doing those quarry jobs at that time. So. Like I say, just need to get the end screwed on a little bit better. struggling more than we should be now. That'll be my overconfidence and love of the fleet stuff. Deluding me to get its capabilities. Ah, it's a great little truck. Don't let anyone tell you anything. I honestly think you could use the fleet star to complete pretty much the whole game. Has all the add-ons, does all the things, you just have to, you know, work it is. <laughs> Manage your fuel. I was thinking that the uh, challenge delivery brought you here, but it doesn't. That's the new nest takes you up to the other service point or factory or whatever it is that's up there. And then there's a job at that factory that'll bring you down here for its challenge. certain on that. Then I forget where the other one takes you from the service hub. Someone else's house somewhere.
little helping hand for it. Splash of this. Where's our track? Oh, I missed my track. Pretty standard that. Standard Mr. Farquhar maneuver. some repair parts here to fix up the truck as well. So I'm just going to do that after grabbing my beans. Let me How I missed that junction, I don't know. That's massive. Again, in the dark, just the way the shadows fall, it's just... Everything just looks a lot more dangerous. And if this was normal mode, I'd be flying up here. What's that? Uh Curtain side of it needs to go through into Island Lakes. So we'll just take goods and stick it in our bed.
know is that oh in reverse All right now let's go back across yeah I think it's just better to go across than that route Yeah, we'll take the devil we know over the devil we don't. Yeah, I mean, all the time of uh, playing through this year, you know, the 13, 14, 15, however many times I've done it now, there are still some little tracks and routes like I never used or don't recall using. Which is quite amazing. Some of them may actually be better than what I use. You know, routes often get referred to as like ooh, the, the detour route or the, the, the fake route or the patrol route. Normally, the obvious route is the one you should ignore and then go and find a better route. Honestly, I feel like the fleet just wants to go on me today. Any given opportunity is rocking. <laughs> Gotta put the all wheel back on, put all wheel back on now. We may even unpack our cargo to make it lighter. This is relatively flat. Should be a great risk to lose, isn't it? You know, we may find a little extra weight, although it sort of, you know, risks burying you a little bit. But sometimes the extra traction can be helpful. Not at the minute, it's not, but it can be. It's the same as this route through the swamp, like just because there is this track that runs through it doesn't necessarily mean this is actually the best route through the swamp. I call it the swamp. It's a flooded woodland, isn't it? This would turn into a swamp. But if we go up here... Much nicer. It's just you have to... Be careful not to risk other things. So you could go all the way along there, like in that direction, and that could be perfect run. But I don't know, so I don't want to risk it right now. That's something you have to do in a regular <laughs> save mode, and then uh, keep note of where you are when you do. Sometimes just being to the edge just off track is enough. Obviously you're not on that overly worked area anyway. Not always, but sometimes. My pile on. We're looking to try and get through there as quick as possible. I'd like to get this delivered before 8 a.m. That'd be great.
sure that's going to be possible now. It's a shame the time doesn't pop up when you do that as well. That would be helpful. Let's see how much easier the going is coming on the outside and off the track as opposed to if we were in there where all the tread lines, tread marks are. The ground's just slightly firmer. See, as soon as we come into this churned up tracked area. So new. Not today, mother trucker. So it's the slingshot and now we'll pack our cargo. We've got that contract on. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's going to run a minute, I think. No, we won't. We'll, we'll be good. We'll uh, do what we're supposed to do. We will save that last little trip for the start of the next episode. Because that is a day. I think that day went pretty well. It went pretty quick. Let's pause the time. Yeah, that went pretty quick. And, um, you yeah, know, we nearly got two good-sized jobs done. Like I say, the, the quarry, sorry I'm about to lose my voice, the quarry can be quite a challenge. So if you're doing this and you are pretty pretty new and experienced to the game, just take your time on it. You don't have to deliver everything at once. There are other ways of doing it. Um, but hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you have, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. If you're interested, come join us on Twitch, where we live stream SnowRunner, and uh, hopefully by now we will be streaming ourselves some expeditions. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.